Hey folks, Vic here for ThePracticalPrepper.com. What I wanted to show you today was the chicken coop project. We had uh, purchased an 8x8 building a couple years ago along with the uh, same uh, larger garden shed in kit form last year and we've kind of saved it. This year we got it built out um, and I'll kind of show you how I put that together. Right now we've got 16 birds. I built it large enough to accommodate 25 which uh, Times get a little tough. Fudge factor is a wonderful thing. Well, I've also built the run, which I'll show you, and the run will accommodate that many birds as well. So I can go up to 25. I could push 30 birds if I had to, and uh, I've incorporated some things in it, which uh, I kind of got all over the web. You can kind of look a lot of things up, and then things that make sense, you can implement things that you don't discard. But I'll show you what I did in hopes that uh, maybe your build out in your homestead could use uh, a little bit of what I've done. So let me walk you around and then I'll show you the inside. All right, here we go. Okay, so an eight by eight building, you'll see the window on the outside here. That is a home window I got at a yard sale for 20 bucks. It retails for about $150. I reframed the wall to fit it. We now have a full size window we can open uh, in the summer when it's hot and we can close it up when it's cold. Um, it's got a standard 10 by 10 opening right there for the for the birds to come out and I built a little ramp um, half the time they use it and half the time they just jump off the damn thing uh, real quick I'll show you how I'm powering it this is uh, 60 watts of solar because I haven't trenched over here to bring power over which I will in the meantime I have an electric auto door from McMurray to uh, to use so I'm running the solar cell which is running into a uh, RV deep cycle storage battery and um, it's running a 7 watt uh, charge controller from the solar panel to keep the battery charged and then I've got a little Belkin and I think this is like a 120 watt inverter and I've done a quick plug-in so that's my temporary power and it goes into here it runs the door and it will run my light and uh, I could you know, if I wanted to make this permanent, it would work. So anyway, um, these things come as a kit, and you build them. And uh, besides uh, what they say, some assembly required, there's a ton of assembly required. Uh, the roofing is all yours. So uh, you got to study up a little bit on flashing, and uh, it's not very difficult to do. Now, a lot of things in these kits are just not right. The doors won't hang right. They will tend to, you can kind of see the door where it's got a wowie in the middle. I just sawed that open. The doors literally, everything subtle. So you, you have to kind of build it, let it subtle, and uh, go from there. The one thing I did was I did put a turbine exhaust on the top. That has done so much to keep this coupe cool. So double doors, um, handle. I put hasp on both sections because I want to make sure nothing's getting through this door. And with some of the big winds we get. So inside is a inside latch and a handle. So if you go inside to do some work, you can latch the door shut. Um, channel screen. I use this uh, right now is so that when I open this door, there's no chance that a bird's going to bail out. Partly because we haven't finished the fence itself. You see the fencing laying there? I'm waiting to get the hoop house put together and the soil trucked in before I start closing the fence because now, right now I can access from any point around this thing. Once this is fenced in and the gates are on, I can probably get away with this baby uh, baby uh, stopper, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, I can probably do away with that and just go to, because uh, if they get out, they're still in a fenced area. So that'll be good. So here's our little setup. Uh, what you see right there in front, there's the window. Right below the window, that is our um, coupe door controller. Right now it's open. So this can be in the auto, open, or closed position with a little switch there. Um, wiring goes over here to power. And there's a little light below that. What that is is an LED. And during the wintertime, what it will do is it will turn the light on, I think about an hour or so before, or two hours before first light. And 
it will encourage laying egg production during the winter cycle when you don't have as much light during the day. Um, there's an outlet up above that is for a heat lamp or something should I need it. Uh, of course I put a regular 110 volt pull chain light here for our convenience. Uh, a couple things that the coupe controller does have. It has a light sensor which operates all of the uh, the opening and closing and you can adjust that later and earlier from a, a middle norm position. Uh, the other thing it has is a temperature sensor and if the outside air temp is below I can't remember what it is. I think it's 34 degrees or 36 degrees. It will not open the door. That will help ensure that your birds can stay inside where it's warmer. So in looking around, this is kind of a temporary little perch that we put together when we had them um, in the... Um, well, actually we had them in a stock tank and that's where we started them from. And it was easier to use that uh, just because it was easier to keep clean and so on. Um, a buddy of mine, Dave Schultz, gave me a, a feeder, which this feeder has worked out great. Um, he raises a lot of show chickens. So this feeder has worked out really good. We, um, with waterers, we went to uh, the bucket and the nipple design. You can see the nipples below, and I'll show you a little video of that here coming up. And uh, there's also an outlet down below. That is in case I need to run a little heater to keep the water from freezing for some reason. So uh, the other thing is these are the roosts. Now I saw some videos, of course, roosts are like turkeys and turkeys will roost as high as they can in a tree. So they will naturally go to the highest point. Well, this will be the highest point. And I think, what's that, Mr. Bardrock? I don't think he likes being on video. Um, the birds will fly to the highest point, just like turkeys do. So at some point when these guys really get their wings a little more, they will probably start roosting up here. And I haven't built a ladder. I'm waiting to see them actually fly up here, which I think they will do. As far as um, the, the floor, we are using the deep litter method, and um, we need to bring some more in here. So I think we're going to get some of that done today. I've got more wood chips and straw, so we'll bring a mixture of those in and, and deep condition the floor one more time today. So anyway, that's the inside. Um, like I say, I did a few other things like I put, I went ahead and put the little white melamine up. I spent the extra money. Um, I think in the long run, it's going to help me keep things a little cleaner. Uh, this top board is because there's nails that come through that roof and I don't want those birds accidentally flying into a nail. And uh, of course, there's my exhaust fan, which has done great service. Now, uh, both these doors open. Right now, I have that one kind of in a lockdown fixed position because unless we're just fully cleaning out the coop, we don't need to. The nice thing is <coughs> about this particular door is if we want to clean the coop, we can manually close that door and then we can open these doors up and there's no chickens that can get out. So I think that... The McMurray auto door is like 280 bucks or something. Um, let me tell you what, <clears throat> it's well worth the money. It is just slicker than it's not. I mean, you come out in the morning and bada bing, bada boom, you got uh, your birds are out. So let me show you the run a little bit. This is what we put together. It's it's basically built along. The frame that I built along the ground with the 4x6, it has a single door here, and uh, let's see, something we did do is our afternoon sun gets to be really horrendous, and so what we've done is I've done two pieces of shade cloth, one up over the top and the other one six feet down, and um, that has given them a lot of relief. They'll, you can kind of see the dark spot back over here and they will love to go in there when it's hot they get a little shady spot and they'll just all nest down in there if it's really really hot they'll get out of here and go in the, in the coop and that's interesting because that i mean that just says how well that exhaust and that airflow through there is working so i think during the real heat of the day they actually stay cooler inside but it's all framed in two by four and um, i've gone Again, it's a chicken coop, so there's some 
framing supports and I've done them on all the corners. It's uh, tied back to the building. So it's uh, screwed into there and uh, we've had some, you know, 40 mile an hour winds and it shook a little bit and that's about it.